Tonight, it's the National Football League. It's Super Bowl Sunday. We'll see Phillip Rivers and the Indianapolis Colts taking on Sam Darnold and the New York Jets. We are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Tonight it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy as it'll be the AFC champion New York Jets taking on yet another AFC team in the Indianapolis Colts. Super Bowl 55 is underway. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Jets offense ready for their first possession, and they are led by the 23-year-old from USC in his third year now, quarterback Sam Darnold. Year three now, Sam Darnold being the starting quarterback of the New York Jets, and as you might expect, some ups and downs along the way. That's what happens with young quarterbacks. Last year, 19 touchdowns, 13 interceptions, had to play through some sickness and injury. But the Jets really believe in this guy and showed it by upgrading their offensive line in order to get him more protection moving forward. Gore again here on first down. And the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. He'll be dropped shy of the 40 despite powering through the tackle. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Muck that down for a win in the defense's column. And he'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up the first. It goes as a gain of eight that moves the chains. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over him, and they got there to break that one up. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now a delayed give to Gore. And no room to maneuver there. Give him a yard up to the 47. Good strong tackle by DeForest Buckner. Remember, the Colts gave up their first round pick, number 13 overall, to get him from San Francisco. And they certainly think he's worth it. Throwing here on third down, Darnold. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks. 
So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. So the Colts now coming out for their opening drive. They'll be led out by their quarterback who's in his 17th season now in the NFL, an eight-time Pro Bowler to boot. It's Phillip Rivers. I don't know what it is, partner, but every time I watch Phillip Rivers play, I just have a big grin on my face because he plays the game with such joy. Loves being out there. Remember, he's part of that great 2004 class with Eli Manning and Ben Roethlisberger, two of them still in the league today. Now he's probably going to go over 60,000 passing yards and 400 touchdowns this season. The big question mark, how much does he have left in the tank? I think he's got plenty. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense, because someone's going to run for some big yardage. He takes this from the 30 to the 34. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Third and short yardage, Rivers. He's got his tight end, Burton. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. A couple of first downs on the drive already as he'll go from the 47 now on first down. Rivers going to give this one to Taylor. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. You were telling me this yesterday. That's exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game. And it's not necessarily size. It's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. He will push his way down to about the 14. Give him two yards on the gain there, and it will take us to the end of quarter number one. That's the end of the first quarter. No score after one on EA Sports. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. Working out of the gun, Rivers. And the Jets' defense making things difficult there. Fourth down. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. Blankenship's kick is good. And the Colts hit the scoreboard first. It's 3-0. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11 play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone and get you six? And here now the offense heading back out there. This one a little slow to get cooking. Just a 3 nothing score line as they begin with a first and ten. They'll start on the ground with Gore. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. And he stopped immediately there. 
some of these play calls, I think they're a little conservative, but you know me, because it's easy to sit up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and, and think I'm going to be correct. But I would like to see them open things up, because otherwise this defense is going to gang up on the run and set them down. Flushed out right. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. I like his effort there. He got it done on his own, but let's face it, he puts defenses in a really stressful spot when he takes off and runs because a lot of guys have coverage responsibilities. Good job of rounding, though, because I thought when he first took off, he might pick up the first down. 42 yards on the punt, just two on the return. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and ten. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal. And I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. They're yeah, not out now, joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit, even though they wanted the six points. Yeah, maybe wore down the other defense. We'll see. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Here's Hines. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. I know the game's changed. A lot of people would say it's evolved. Look, I'm a little bit Neanderthal, okay? I love this. No exotic formations, no misdirection. Just line up and run the darn ball, pick up the first down. I love it. Yeah, third and short. That's what you're supposed to do. Like you said, old school smash mouth football. Hey, baby, this ain't good enough for us. So flag for the contact, pass interference. And I know that you're going to look at me and roll your eyes, and rightfully so, because you know what I'm going to say. Doesn't the defender have a right to the football as well? No, I just, I don't like defenders. <laughs> and this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Brian Poole. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, this had trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with. They're in a dive set. So everywhere he's looking, he's seeing a different color jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. A little soul searching now. I would say so, and they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the yeah, field a lot position. more than normal, put them in some tough spots, but what's the old adage? When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. And yeah, they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now that's a run that warms a play caller's heart because you are actually set up to do whatever you want on offense. You come right back and run essentially the same play because you have momentum, or you can... F Looking for Perriman, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Kenny Moore. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. First and 10, Taylor now. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Two minutes remain in this opening half of Super Bowl 55. A reminder coming up at intermission, we'll get highlights of this Super Bowl from Jonathan Coachman and the crew in Orlando for our EA Sports halftime report. And now this is Hilton on the receiving end. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. 
Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. Zach Paschal, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. And he'll take this one inside the 10, down to the 8. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. It's a game of three. It's third and seven. On third down, here's Taylor. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Boy, a call like this, certainly tougher to make in a Super Bowl, but they'll go for it on fourth down. They'll run for it. It's Taylor. And not only did he not get in the end zone, he didn't get the first down either. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And that will force a turnover on downs. And they've now made two trips to the red zone and still looking for their first touchdown. Not able to punch it in. And if you're on defense, your confidence is sky high. Because mentally, you're saying, hey, hey you're in the red zone. We're thinking we're giving up three. We just want to give up six. In this case, they end up not giving up the touchdown at all. They've got to feel great about what they got done. Throwing again on second down. Darnold. He's got his man on the crossing round. And he will have a first down here as they get into field goal range, down just shy of the 20. 12 yards there and a first down. He was looking for Jamison Crowder there. And that'll bring up second down. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Back to the air, Darnold on second down. He dumps this off underneath to Gore. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Here's Braden Mann now as he's on to punt for New York. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. It'll be a net of only 30 here. 40-yard punt, 10 on the return. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory. But the other guys held up. They didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? That was planned going into it. Not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold up. But he up. trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much. And I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own sideline. <laughs> well, now we'll see what his offense can do. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight as we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. For the never tedious halftime show behind us, and now it's back to football as we get going again in Super Bowl 54. That'll be taken about a yard deep, and Rodgers will hold on to this one, and it'll come out to the 25. Out come the Colts. They'll have it first here to start quarter number three. Their defense has pitched the shutout. Now they probably need to deliver a little breathing room, maybe make it a two-score game as they've got it first and ten. Here's a handoff to Hines to begin the drive, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay. There he goes, right side. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Jonathan Taylor, 72 yards. And the Colts add on to their lead. 
And that run massively increased his production in this game, and now he's over 100 yards. And break out your calculator, partner, because his yards per carry went up it's significantly, skyrocket. right? Big-time jaunt all the way to the end zone. And this one through the uprights and good. That drive started on their own 25. Two plays, 75 yards later, into the end zone. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Here's the Jets offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try to figure out what is working, and call more of that. Now a pass taken in by the tight end, Herndon. It's a gain of seven, and that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll try and pick up the first with Gore. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 13. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Darnold. They go with a screen to Gore. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Jet first down. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sense that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with... Darnold, he lost the football. Fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free and it's fourth down. Another drive comes and goes, still nothing on the scoreboard. Yeah, and when the second half comes, you know, it's real easy to get discouraged and wonder if you're ever going to get things started. You just got to fight through it. Got to keep pounding it up. 13 yards, the tally on the return there. And out will come the offense as they take over. Phillip Rivers now gears up to take the offense back out there. The lead is theirs here in the third quarter, but it's really been the ground game that's been the recipe for success. You mean the spotlight isn't shining as brightly on the guy throwing it? No, it's the man behind him that's had a heck of a game. And that's really okay. That's actually what you're looking for. I mean, your pride tells you, hey, I want to be responsible. I want to throw a bunch of touchdown passes. But when you're able to run the football, Typically speaking, your team's doing pretty well. And in this case, they're winning. We'll see if they have balance on this drive. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. The Jets will bring in a nickel set here as they try to stop this third down. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. And he'll find Pittman. 
And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 14 yards through the air. Caught the D off guard on third and one. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Again, it's Taylor. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. From the gun, Rivers. Finds his big tight end, Mo Alley Cox. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. A gain of six there on first. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in the situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what we said in the defensive huddle. Guys, you got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. So they've been in the red zone three times, and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? And he pushes forward, but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. This is a long drive offensively. Wouldn't you hate to end this with just three points? Does it feel like during a ball game you have certain narratives going on and there's certain drives that seem to take on just a bit more importance than others? This feels like... And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Jonathan Taylor, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Colts, they add on to their advantage. So they went for it from the one on fourth and goal, and they got it done. Is this the new NFL? This is the new NFL. This is the updated NFL, and I like it. I know that quarterbacks across the league have spent the entire offseason and even during the season lobbying their coaches to go for it more on fourth down. Let's go get it, because nowadays you've got to score points to win games in the NFL. You can't just rely on your defense to hold them. I think the quarterbacks want to eliminate field goals inside of 30 yards, probably. Well, listen, they have enough confidence in themselves that they can call plays and make plays that they won't need those field goals inside the 30. New York ready to go again offensively. And their Super Bowl hopes are dwindling here in the fourth. That AFC crown from two weeks ago starting to see. Looking for Mims, but this is intercepted. Picked up by Kenny Moore. And they will finally get him, but not until he's all the way down inside the 15-yard line. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. This will be caught at about the six. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. 14-yard touchdown. And the Colts use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. 
They had the lead in the fourth, but still passing. Finding the big target for the touchdown. Now that lead grows even more. Everybody gets to join in the fun. You know, it doesn't have to just be the wide receivers catching touchdown passes. The tight end doesn't just have to do just the dirty work inside. He gets a chance to get into the end zone as well. An extra point splits the uprights, and the lead is now 24. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. On the return, here's a speedy Jamison Crowder. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Sam Darnold leading the offense out for their next possession. And that interception that ended their previous drive likely also ended any shot they had at victory. Yeah, long road back from here, no doubt about that one. But let's face it, if you're going to go out there and compete, you want to try and end on a strong note, don't you? Absolutely. It won't end in a victory, like you said, but they can maybe take something positive out of this one. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. To throw is Darnold. Now they go screen, it's complete. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. 12 yards there and a first down. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Darnold completes it, and this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. They're giving those short little routes, tackled them in bounds, too. They're just not wanting to get beat over the top. Yeah, and if you can't really get downfield, take the short routes. But now you've got to have guys who can actually break tackles and increase those gains. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Got a man, it's Mims. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Defense was thinking run, and they're dealt a pass of just under 20 yards. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he's going to get this inside the 30. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. A Super Bowl 55 down to the final two minutes. So it's Jets football as we get your reset here. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. On first and 10, Darnold. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. Looking to throw again on second down. Darnold firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts' 15-yard line. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. He was trying to get it to Denzel Mims that time, but it's going to be second down. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. Second down and 10, Darnold. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Well, they've had success getting the ball to him out of the backfield, but this time they had a man right on him. He was able to break that play up before he could get started. Darnold to throw again. And Mims has got it. Touchdown, Jets. Denzel Mims there to make the grab. And the Jets are able to close the gap just a bit. So they will get on the scoreboard here. Give them credit for that. Too little, too late, but no zero. Oh, you, you're going slow clap on me. <laughs> Not very nice, is it? No, but Darnold, he lost the football. And this one incomplete. So they went for the two. They don't get it. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending it? You just make sure you never back up and you never retreat. You establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage. Put your heels on the goal line at worst. If they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're going to run out of space because of the back of the end zone. Never let a guy catch one in front of you.
The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And they are trying to play it cool down on the sidelines, but they know that they are very close now to wrapping this thing up and letting the celebration begin. A Super Bowl title within reach now as they try to polish this thing off. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Taylor. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. They run once more with Taylor. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Three plays all resulting in three-yard carries to bring up fourth down. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. And the Lombardi Trophy will rest in Indianapolis. The Colts are the Super Bowl champs. And to the Super Bowl champions, they etch their name forever in NFL immortality. That's pretty phenomenal right there. It actually gave me chills just to hear you say that because immortality forever and ever. When you look in the record books, you'll see this team, you'll see their picture, that your name will be a part of it. That's got to be an incredible feeling because it's been a long journey to get there, and now they get a chance to enjoy it.